Um, this video is about how to set up a posi check. Um, I was on the internet and I couldn't find a video that actually explained it specifically. So I decided to make one. I excuse the mess. Uh, I am working out of my kitchen. So uh, try and ignore anything in the background. So this is what a posi looks like. Uh, it is to test uh, uh, the SCBAs. You can test almost all brands. That's uh, something that they don't tell you as well. Uh, the only brand that you need a certification to test, which is almost impossible to get, is Scott. But you can still test Scott packs uh, without the certification as long as uh, you have the right parameters in there. Um, these uh, uh, posi checks need to be calibrated once a year. Uh, it is another cash grab. Uh, and it is, again, same company, which does Scott, that uh, creates these systems as well as does the testing for you, Honeywell. Anyway, they pretty much own everything in the industry. The connections you will need. You will need an adapter to fit on top of this. You will need an adapter that will fit onto this. And I will go through all that as well. Uh, you can uh, pre-order all the stuff. You can make it yourself, but I would recommend uh, getting what you need um, pre-ordered. Uh, it's just way easier and it uh, just limits uh, any error. And it, uh, also, you will need the connectors that are very specific to every uh, vendor. I am going to show you how to hook up a 2.2 Scott industrial pack. And it's pretty much the same high, low pressure, uh, in, out, it pretty much works all the same. So uh, we'll start with, you will need, uh, this will come out to, uh, this is the in. Uh, and it basically it uh, mimics the same connector that uh, you have on your bottle almost. So uh, this hose will connect onto here and it will go all the way the other end and it doesn't have to be this type of configuration but this is the configuration i have just so that i can actually do mobile uh, this could be hooked up permanently to uh, an air source you don't need to go a bottle but the way i test it and the way because because i use mobile so this goes on here onto the bottle i don't want to mess up the threads And then it connects to your connector. Now you will have situations where it's a quick connect or it's an AP50 or whatever the case is where you would have different connectors. Uh, but this would be uh, pretty much the same setup that you would use. You need something that will go into the pack and you need an air source, which in this case is the bottle here. Now you need uh, the connection to your uh, regulator. And in this case, it is on a 2.2, it's right there. And I think it's a 17, let me just confirm. Uh, no, uh, I'm not quite sure. It's a 17 or 5.8. Yeah, it's a 5.8. And what you do is you remove it from here, okay? And on this side here, I have my connector goes in this goes in here and if you notice what happens is there's no way I can actually so this fits right on it and connect in now you can create your own setup if you want but I like these tools they come straight from them that will go on the mask when you're testing the masks and this will go back to your to your pack. Um, now as part of a good service I always take batteries with me uh, because most of the time if if they're testing them once a year or every three years they're probably gonna end up having to replace batteries. Uh, and this is as much as I need to show you. So what happens now is you turn on your air from here it 
fills up the pack and the posi check will tell you when you need to turn on your air when you need to not turn on your air uh, this 